Then uh, AOG is releasing the masterclass, X Guard masterclass. I was a part of it, like with you. I was there uh, filming, and uh, I like, I really like the way you uh, structured the, the masterclass. You first start with the the entry for the position, and then uh, you break down how to finish the position. And to me, that was like the the most important thing for the for the instructional because. Uh, Whenever I'm teaching in class, that's what normally people ask me, like how to get there. Like normally people play De La Riva or they play uh, close guard and they have trouble to connect those techniques with the X guard. They always ask me, how do I need to pull straight to the X guard or I can pull to the guard that I feel comfortable and connect to the, to the X guard. And I was, ta I was talking to, to the students here and that, I feel like this is like the main thing that we have been working like uh, for the last like two years probably like since you start seeing more results with the X Guard. Uh, we were already doing a lot of the La Riva. Like remember in the beginning when you got here, like a uh, blue belt, like purple belt was like mainly the La Riva because it was uh, the influence of like my results in the competition and uh, Professor Hoffa's results in the competition. And then now there's like a big change on people are because of your results, people are using more of the X Garden. And uh, it's really nice to see how we are doing a very, it, we are doing it in a very unique way because we are connecting the De La Riva with the X Guard. And I think that's the main difference. And uh, whenever you're using uh, that in the competition, I can see that blend in the styles. Like a lot of what you learn from us with what you have been developing yourself and uh, I want like to ask you, like, what do you think like it changed like the most? Like, whenever you got here in the beginning, you're using a lot of De La Riva, of mm -hmm. course, but like, how you like you think your division or like uh, the way that you're feeling comfortable in training? What made you start using more of the X Guard? Uh, at first, when I like when I got here, you you said it like perfectly. It was just always like influenced and inspired by you and Hafa just on the way how you guys play guard. And uh, I remember just always having you telling me to study my divisions and people that have won and dominated in the middleweight division because eventually it would be where I would see myself in a, in a few years later. And uh, I remember studying a lot of Marcelo's game mm -hmm. and uh, he would always play X guard. But it was kind of hard connect, connecting with the De La Riva because back then people would play more on their knees. Mm -hmm. So it was like he was usually using more from the butterfly guard. B butterfly guard, yeah. So like I feel like I started I initiating more with the De La Riva and I tried to find ways that I could connect the De La Riva with the X guard that Marcelo would use to finish. So I feel like in the beginning was uh, the setup was a lot from, from your guy's style. And then the finishing and the adjustment, I, I used a lot. I was very inspired with like Marcelo because like for if people win divisions, like every year there's new champions, but he was somebody that won multiple years. Yeah. So like that's why like, I remember you telling me to always study those people that they, they're able to win multiple times because they are the ones that are different. And I knew that like at that time, Marcelo played a different game than everybody else. That's why like he, he was, he shined for. And I feel like I wanted to do something like that. I mm -hmm. wanted to build a game, instructional my jiu-jitsu around, uh, you know, have many inspirations, but try to build something that was pretty unique for my division and try to, to have like a new style of guard. Mm -hmm. Like you mentioned there for many years, there were just like Burin Bolo and the De La Riva and even like uh, reverse De La Riva, Kiss of the Dragon. So I was always like taking the back and chasing the back. And I knew that like eventually there would be this like switch of a guard and then a new one would come up. Mm -hmm. So I try to develop like many details that I show in, the, in my DVD that I show in this instructional. Like uh, things that to me are the most important, starting from the basic, from the setup with off balancing, going all the way into like ways that you guys can finish the sweep, submit, and also to work on your way to take the back. So, after I initiate doing it and practicing that in the competition, I try to develop ways that I could uh, be more creative from there. Just like how it happened with the burn bowl. At first it was just a standard burn bowl, a traditional burn bowl, and then came twister hook, 
then came like crossing the legs and hooks and all this like development was made afterwards i tried to do the same thing with dex guard i started with the very traditional and then eventually i started developing ways that i could look for submissions uh, that i could look for back takes for uh, multiple different positions that i could set up from the x guard so i show all that in dvd and most important i feel like it's to you know the competition proved like i was able to do yeah. many of these techniques in at the highest level starting you guys will see that it starts from all the way in my juvenile like with the tradition like i said and then towards like the the black belt level at the highest level i started to i had more understanding of the position and i developed more to different ways where i could get submission and then in in different competitions i would go with more to with the sweep back take and uh, i feel like that's what's cool about it every time i try to study someone and I try to follow their techniques and, and everything that they teach. I try to always look for the competition side of it. I yeah. try to always see if that technique, it's, they're able to apply in the competition. If that setup, if those grips are something that's being used at the moment, if it's been something that they're developing lately. And uh, I feel like that, that goes to prove to everybody that watches that that technique works. You, yeah. know? you always want to see the technique being used against someone that's capable of defending. And uh, there's no better way to, to see that than in the competition where you're going against someone your size and your uh, skill level. And uh, you mentioned some things that I, I really like. Yesterday, I, I was talking about the instruction to another student. And I, I mentioned the same thing that you said. That I felt like the X guard has been such like a, a traditional position since like a Marcelo started using back in the days. And like he used it to win multiple ADCC and uh, world titles. But he was doing it completely different. Like he was using it with the butterfly guard, a lot of arm drags too. And uh, I feel like your style of uh, using the X guard is like a modern version. It's uh, combining a lot of like the De La Hiva, a lot of the components that we do here at AOJ with uh, the De La Hiva, with all the attacks, uh, the back attacks. Like you found a way to incorporate a lot of those details, a lot of the concepts that we use in the Del Riva into the X Guard. And that made it very unique, like you said. Uh, another thing is that every time like you were trying to develop a game, you were trying to study something, I feel like it's important that you not only study one sequence, one technique, but you find different ways and you study the opponent's reaction and the way you structure the the this instruction though is really nice because like first you teach people how to get in the X guard. So like ah you can go from many different positions from the De La Riva, there, there's like many different like sides and details that you can go. So you give them multiple different options that they can uh, figure out like which one's better for them. And then from there like one step forward you start teaching how to off balance the person. Because if the person is very stable on top they're gonna start backstepping and trying to escape from the X guard. So you teach them how to make the person feel uncomfortable. And then from there, you start teaching the submissions, like the back attacks. And, and like you said, uh, the fact, I think like this new generation like has the advantage of having all the footage of like the competition. And we have footage in the instruction of you applying the techniques as a blue belt. So the same technique that you applied in the world finals this year, you're applying in the Blue Belt Juvenile Division and you can see the contrast. For sure, like, you understand the technique much more and it's a much cleaner version of the technique in the Black Belt, but you can see the approach started like in the early days and like how many years you spent developing that technique to get you where you are today. And another one that I like a lot and I feel like it's, uh, to me, it stands out whenever I, I think about Dax Guard and your game on bottom. It's uh, your submission against Roberto this year. I feel like I mentioned in the interview, like you guys are both like young. You came up like together in the juvenile division and uh, winning the lower ranks. And I really thought that would be a very uh, physical battle between you two this year. and. Uh, because you're both skilled and uh, you impressed me with how you're, you basically didn't use the strength, you were like all technique and uh, use a very strong combination that we were working before uh, to finish him with the triangle. 
And uh, that for me was probably like one of like the main moments for you this year. Not, I don't think that was one of the hardest fights that you had. Like it, it was not very difficult, but uh, the whole story behind it and like how much you improved it since the early days to get to the point that you are able to compete against someone that is also a, a huge prospect in the black belt and win with that style of technique using like, like something that's so important for your game like the X guard attacks like it was it was amazing so like uh, I think the two fights that stand out and we have that those fights in the instructional it's uh, you against Roberto you against Andy too in the finals of worlds like you the most important fight of the year for you like the fight that would give you the second uh, black belt world title you're able to use an X guard sweep too and uh, that put you in the passing position that you like and gave you the win. So uh, I, I think like everything that we're mentioning, like this concepts, like this uh, structuring the teaching and uh, this contrast between the competition footage and the techniques, people are gonna be able to see and it will be mind blowing because uh, for me, uh, like just being there and like you're doing the techniques on me, like I got impressed of like, by how much like you understand the technique was really nice to see. And I think too, like uh, I've got even before this, before this year, and when when I first come at black belt, I've had many opportunities of like uh, teaching and like recording and DVDs. But I feel like I didn't have the credentials like at the highest level. So I wanted to before teach, before show anything, before record anything. I wanted to make sure that I had the credentials on, prove that that technique would work, prove that my game. Uh, was you know structural that I, that I did everything as possible in the competition to to show the people that everything that I was going to be teach I had the credentials for it and also uh, just late not la just lately but we have been working for the longest time on my teaching skills I feel like when I first got to the black belt I would teach just like just like anybody just like trying to show the move. Now on this DVD, I, I feel like I show more my vision of the, the, the positions and the way how I see the X-Guard and the details that I feel are the most important because I've done that multiple times over and over in the competition and I, I try to not only study my opponents but try to look at my game and think, see things that I can improve. So like I feel like for the longest time when I was playing this instruction, I was always trying to, to look for these details and the way how I see uh, the position, trying to explain that the best as possible. And that made me also like a better teacher. So yeah. like I, daily, like I've been improving a lot on doing that. But on this DVD, I feel like I really show like my personality and like my teaching skills as well. Not just uh, the technique itself, but showing a little bit of who I am and sharing a little bit more story. And then of course, there's uh, all the, the x guard details and everything that I've collected from all these years of experience. Yeah, uh, I, I think and people are going to like it a lot. Like, like you said, like you have all the credentials now to be able to teach and move the move like you used to win a second uh, world title. And uh, you won multiple competitions using the x guard people are going to see in the instructional. Uh, like, like you said, like you improved like your uh, teaching skills like just as fast as you improved your uh, like your competition skills and uh, I, I think like teaching a lot of seminars like all around the world like helped a lot because uh, you get out of the comfort zone. I think it's pretty easy to teach a group that you're here every day, you're friends with and uh, you know everybody. But whenever you are in a seminar, you have to teach people that you never saw before and you need to teach groups that have like many different uh, people that some are white belts, some are black belts, some like the different body types. Uh, whenever you get put out, out there and you have to teach a, a seminar, I think it takes you out of the comfort zone. You need to show your skill as a professor because you need to show the technique in a way where it fits for everybody that is in the seminar. You need to show the details. You need to impress people and show how much you know and uh, it's, uh, I think like the, the seminars, they helped you a lot to evolve fast. Like you taught a lot of seminars this year, like last year too. And I think that for sure speed up like the, this learning process. Uh, just to finish, I, I, I think like for people, they are uh, 
trying to improve like the X card and they're like trying to understand uh, more of like a Tynan's career. Like the, they're gonna be able to see everything in the instructional. Like uh, the master class is not only the techniques, but it shows a lot of like his story, like with the videos and interviews that we never posted before. We saved a lot of stuff, a lot of good stuff for, uh, for this moment. And you don't need to be with the mindset of like changing your game or like, oh, I'm, I'm really good doing close guard or I'm really good doing the lasso. Like, uh, will this uh, technique work for me? Or like, I only train no gi. Uh, why would I change everything and start working the X guard? I think like this is like the main point of like this instructional. It's uh, basically combining the guard that you already play with the X guard. Like the way you built this was like perfect for people that want to add something to their game and not like change everything that they have been doing. Okay, because a lot of people like. Like uh, they already they already comfortable with what, what they do. It already works at a certain level. Like they are just trying to add more. And I think like the way you taught the techniques, it's perfect because uh, you're not making people change their minds. You're just trying to show them that there's much more that they can do what the with the the techniques they already do. Yeah, for sure. And like something you mentioned too, like with the seminars. Uh, I travel all over the place of teaching. Like I started doing with you, and like at a young age, when I was just like a blue belt still. And uh, this definitely, you know, uh, helped me tons with like my teaching, and has, I have improved a lot on it. But also, I feel like the, you know, this, this as just as the same as the new generation with like guards and jiu-jitsu, it's happening the same thing with like the platform. I feel like. Sometimes like I'm really happy with this instruction because uh, I really get to show my full like vision and the side of like my, my techniques on the X guard and like not just the X guard personal but just like in general how I try to see guard how I see uh, my first options when I'm going to it the strategy side of it the grips the yeah. grips everything and sometimes when you go teach the seminar it's hard to cover everything inside like three or five hours mm -hmm. so like. The, the way how this new platform with the media and everything, the way how it's coming up, I feel like it's a huge opportunity. And I go, like I said, I go everywhere teaching it. And this one, I was able to structure it and I put it together, all my experience into one DVD. And I feel like we have like five, six hours of it. And it's not just that, but like has plenty of like, uh, how you said, like the same thing you said, the videos of me and interviews, things that we never posted, never saw before. And uh, it's really cool. Like, I'm really happy and excited with this. And, you know, I hope everyone enjoys it just as much as I enjoy it because I'm a, you know, I'm a jiu-jitsu competitor, but I also love to study. I love to do all this just as, as a fan, not just, not just as an athlete, but as a fan to, to see all this work and, the, you know, this new age, this new era just changing everything. Cool. Yeah. Uh, for sure, I, this is... Uh it's like over six hours of uh, instructional. So it will be, I think people, if like they, they studied, like they're gonna be able to work with like, for like months. Yeah. Because like you can build your own classes with like the content that you put together there. And now with the teaching too, like you can see that it's changing the next generation. You have like orange belts at the academy. They are doing that in the competition. They're being super successful with just winning competitions because their just a level is just way higher than and they understand it's way higher than everybody else. So because like I've been teaching this for a long time, I feel like the, the new generation, you know, the ones after me now, they're they're bringing that into their game. Before it was I like always a burn bowler. I remember when I first joined the academy, everybody used to be really good with burn bowler. Now I feel like when they come to AOJ, everybody is really good with the X guard, you know, yeah. with the Dilahiv and everything. So, you know, there's many examples that they're competing. And, uh, and even they're gonna compete in the next tournaments in the next few weeks. And uh, like, I'm, I'm sure that there's gonna be X-Guards there. Yeah, we're, we're gonna be posting so you guys uh, can see not only like the black belts or like the world champions from the academy using the, the X-Guard, but you guys can see how much influence like this technique is, uh, has in the kids program too, like Tainan teaches the kids program. And you, I want to show you guys uh, all the, the kids' orange belts, like uh, gray belts, all using the X Garden. And uh, I'm sure, like, uh, if you study and if you understand the concepts, you guys are going to be able to use too. Okay. Yes.